What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the CWL invite week one matchup Forbidden versus Reddit Omega and Forbidden walking away with the one star victory the final 129 to 128 and what I mean what an incredible matchup this was we're gonna go ahead and check out uh, just to show you guys real quick the war events we had to have five, no, we had to have four successful attacks in a row. Five successful attacks in a row. That is exactly what happened. Uh, all coming down to the last five minutes. Uh, we had to go perfect on dips, and we had to get another 10v10 three star. Uh, we did win um, in total destruction as well by 1%. They did unfortunately have a last minute dip fail uh, from one of their Town Hall 11s. But I have some incredible attacks. To share with you guys this war. Uh, we don't want it to get too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down here to number... Uh, yes, this one right here. Number 35. We'll go ahead and watch this. Um, have this in the back. We're going to have this in the background. Because what I want to do is break down the stats for you guys. And I will go ahead and throw it up on the screen as well. So for Forbidden, having one 11v11 triple. They went 100% on dips. Going 12 for 12. Um... On the dips, which was crucial to this win. I mean, every town hall level, uh, it was had to execute, especially against a tough, tough clan uh, like Reddit Omega. We yeah, 100% on dips, uh, 9 10v10 3 stars, 7 for 12 uh, on the hit ups. And the, major uh, the majority of those were actually uh, successful attacks on uh, the first attempt. It was one base in particular that we really, really struggled on. And for our Town Hall 9s, we did hit at 74% uh, hit rate, which did provide us with 11 scouts. And as far as Reddit Omega, uh, some of the stats were similar. Some of the stats, um, we, we did outperform them. They also had one 11 11 3-star. Uh, what really did it, I, I think what really, really did it this war, like I said, both clans had to perform at every Town Hall level if you were going to win this war. Uh, but it was their dips. Uh, they did have two dip fails, and when you're playing a clan, especially like uh, Forbidden, I mean, you pretty much have to be perfect, especially with some of the numbers uh, that we were putting up in uh, 4B. But yeah, so they had two dip fails, one at the very, very end of War, um, and uh, where they outperformed us is they had 10 10v10s. They went 6 for 11 uh, at 10v11, and they had a 65% hit rate at Town Hall 9. Uh, but, I mean, what an incredible ending to an incredible war. Uh, and we'll be getting into um, a lot of these attacks for you guys as we go ahead and times this. And we will get into um, this heavy hitter action for you guys. Look at that swaggy apple swagging all the hogs uh, on that attack right there. Beautiful, beautiful attack. So like I said, we'll go ahead and get into our heavy hitter action. I got a few 10v10s. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off, yes, uh, with number 28. Uh, right here against Fergal RO CWK. Um, gonna be doing a queen charge Lalo on this base. He'll be starting over at three o'clock. Yeah, so we're gonna be showing you guys five. We'll be showing you guys uh, five 10 v10s. We're gonna show you guys a hit up, and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys um, the 11 11 three star, the one and only 11 11 three star on the forbidden side. But uh, Clan War Killer coming in here at 3 o'clock where he's going to be walking down his queen. Uh, as you guys see right here, look at all the air targeting defenses down here on the right hand side of the base from 3 to 6. Two archer towers, you got all the expos, the wizard tower, and then you have uh, four more archer towers on the other side. Pretty much the only air targeting defenses up at the top is literally just the air defenses. Uh, so he's going to get amazing value right here. Going to break into that uh, compartment uh, down there at 4 o'clock. Uh, he does have a rage for his queen. Keeping his queen alive as she is taking quite a bit of heat uh, from both these expos. Uh, and King was able to take out um, all that trash just to make sure that the queen goes where he wants her to. Which is inside of this big compartment right here. Uh, queen health getting a little low. And now he's going to be approaching not only the CC but the enemy queen as well. Goes and drops on another rage. Still has two rage and three 
uh, hay spells left to deploy uh, where he'll be using those for the flight portion. Wants to make sure he gets down this air sweeper, uh, which was blowing in the direction of his Lalo. Notice right when he took out that air sweeper, he goes ahead and starts the Lalo uh, down here at 6 o'clock. So she goes and takes out the wizard tower and still has queen ability where he goes ahead and pops that right as that inferno tower uh, was about to take out his queen raid spell into the first inferno tower. Um, he is bringing in some more loons over here at nine o'clock, hasting those loons in. Uh, and he does still have a haste. There it goes. And one more rage uh, goes ahead and drop, de deploys that CC hound uh, right on top of those two air defenses, takes on a, a seeking air mine, pops just in time as those rage loons take out uh, those two air defenses. And Queen somehow ends up taking out uh, that Inferno Tower. But beautiful, beautiful attack right there by CWK getting it done. Okay, now we'll go ahead and jump up. We'll jump up uh, one spot here. We'll go ahead and check out number uh, number 27 uh, where we have um, CBG doing a bitch attack. Uh, the bitch god himself can be taken on this base. Uh, wait till you guys see how he breaks this base down. Queen coming up here at 12 o'clock. He is going to be bringing in the witches and the bowlers over here um, for the flank. From three, from 3 o'clock to work their way down. He has uh, two, uh, notice there's uh, only one golem uh, that he went for his queen. He's doing kind of a naked queen walk. Uh, but on the actual kill squad entry, he just went ahead and used the giants. Went ahead and dropped down one jump, goes ahead and drops down that heal spell right there in the core. Uh, notice that he doesn't drop his jump spell into the core since there's no uh, point defenses targeting uh, this main push through the core just goes ahead and lets he takes his time nice and patient lets them beat through the wall where now he rages the core drops a jump spell on the very uh, back end uh, to lead into where the two archer towers are where the expo is down there flank still doing well look at his queen she is taking heat from that expo but if you guys look closely uh, she steps out just out of range of that uh, of that expo damage. Still has queen ability. Still has two wizards. Not sure what he's planning on doing with those. I think he just wanted to swag them. Uh, queen ends up taking out that expo just in time. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful attack right there um, from CBG taking on uh, number twenty seven. Uh, bad at this game or his his other town hall 10 account. Okay, now we'll go ahead and jump up here This was this was almost uh, the game winner right here. The last few attacks were dips um, But we needed to have a 10v10 three-star um, To win this war and this was the attack right here in the last minute uh, Where we had to get this base down. We had the plan uh, Just had to execute it Um with a, with a couple tweaks, as you guys know, as you progress you know, through the attacks, um, we knew what we had to do to get the three star. So we're gonna go ahead and check out Juski and see. Uh, but starting off with the wizard, one wizard to follow the queen. So she's going right where we want her to. She's gonna be going down from three uh, down to six o'clock. Giants on the mortar. We're just gonna go ahead and drop down a king. And uh, this was uh, switching up right here, bringing uh, the CC bowlers um, to this Lalo. So you have the, the queen walk, Leading into the Queen Charge with the King Bowler Kill Squad to take out that IT. Also help take out the Kill Squad or the enemy CC with that with that Kill Squad. Uh, where he goes ahead and drops down a Poison Spell to take out the Loon, the Big Drag, and the Baby Drag. Even a couple Wizards snuck in uh, to help out with that CC kill. And look at Bowlers still doing work under Rage, taking out uh, those defenses. And you'll see. Uh, Right here, the Lalo is about to start. A uh, queen taking that jump spell. Gonna go ahead and take out uh, that wizard tower. And we still have queen ability as well. Even a bowler somehow miraculously ended up surviving uh, this attack right here. Rage spell down. Uh, and here we go. Right here is where he's gonna be starting his Lalo over here on the far right hand side of the base. And look at this queen doing freaking work, making it inside of the core. Amazing push. Uh, from that kill squad uh, where that queen ends up meeting up with them inside the court and she's still up. Rage spell is down, leading those loons into that uh, second and final inferno tower. Followed up by the haste spell. Goes ahead and drops down one sacrificial loon on this wizard tower. He is all out of spells, but look at how many 
if you look closely just look at how many loons are still up and we still have queen up uh pups and minions are cleaning up this base and just like that um could not have done it better myself beautiful attack right there you guys uh from juicy uh taking on bad at this game actually i'm sorry dude we actually ended up burning both of his bases but he had some of the best bases in this war so we had to show you guys those attacks shout out to him okay guys now we're gonna go ahead and jump up to number 18 hamidon jse and this guy right here, why does he keep zooming in uh when i hit reply i do not like that um switch up we did see a lot of air attacks um, some bitch attacks, uh, not as many hog attacks as you would expect, uh, like we see in a lot of um, a lot of some of the other wars uh, throughout the league. But we got jumping on JSC. He did one uh, Sui Hero Lalo. This was the hog attack. Like I said, we already saw um, uh, quite a few air attacks already, so I wanted to get this one out to you guys. And we still have one more uh, to show you guys. We'll be showing you guys uh, one of masks. Uh, 10v10 three stars. He also six pack this war. Big shout out to him. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wanted to show out of the two, I want to show you guys this one because it was something a little different. Uh, bringing hogs. So you have Hamidan JSA doing it with the queen charge hogs. Starting his queen down here at six, walking her up to nine. Um, beautiful wall break right there. Gonna try and get the double layer wall break. Drops down that rage. Look at all four of those wall breakers inside of that rage spell right there. Uh, she is taking on uh, the enemy CC where he goes ahead and drops down a poison for her uh, And gonna get incredible value uh, from this queen charge. He's bringing two heals and three rage No jump spells all three of those rages will be uh, for the queen charge gonna be taking on uh, this expo right here uh, Goes ahead and takes it out. Let's go ahead and times this. She will be taking on the enemy king and Like I said, I do not want this video uh, to get too long. So um, goes ahead and drops down one wizard uh, just to kind of help out uh, with that king kill. Okay, there we go. Um, so she is now in the core. Still has ability. Hogs coming in from 11 and 12 o'clock. And already, if you look at, if you look closely up at the top, already has uh, he already has some of the cleanup wizards down. Uh, pop queen ability. Not only does she get enemy queen, but also that bomb tower that was right there in the core. Poison spell to take care of the ground skellies and a heal spell as there was a giant bomb before those hogs approached that wizard tower. And here we go, a couple more hogs coming in on that uh, Tesla that was on the far right hand side at three o'clock. Last heal spell down uh, right here, you guys, where the hogs are gonna be taking on the uh, second and final infernal tower and bomb tower. Uh, but all bombs have been negated. We'll go ahead and times this. They will be ending on that expo. Beautiful attack uh, from Hamidan JSC and good war. Uh, picking up a 10v10 uh, six pack this war and now we'll go ahead we're gonna jump up and check out number 17 this will be the last of the 10v10 three stars uh, then we'll show you guys one of the hit ups that was also a fresh hit why does it keep doing that uh, that was a fresh hit and um, the 11v11 three star so definitely stay tuned okay queen coming down here you guys at three o'clock uh, this is also gonna be a queen charge lalo bringing five raid spells and one haste uh four out of the five raid spells are actually going to be on this charge uh beautiful beautiful execution uh by anger fist aka mask uh gonna be coming in here uh charging into um this uh island expo compartment that's just gonna open up this base uh we're gonna get all kinds of value uh, we have king down uh no wizards for the king he's just gonna be helping out queen uh funnel all of this trash and make sure that he can get a successful wall break goes ahead and pops king ability uh with those little barbarians helping out distract those uh defenses so he can get that wall break there it goes uh that wall break right there ends up breaking or ends up getting access to two of those compartments up there at the top uh, we do have a uh, rage spell, uh, kind of a late poison, uh, but ends up getting it down just in time. Didn't even have to pop a uh, queen ability right there, but there was a Valken, just a whole bunch of archers. So here we go, uh, late baby dragon coming out. Uh, so there goes uh, the poison spell. I think, okay, that must have been what he was saving that poison spell for. Uh, so takes out the air defense, takes out the cannon. Uh, all out of wall breakers, but that expo is in range of queen. So goes ahead and takes out that expo right there. And she will be beating on this wall. Uh, before. And just wants to take out uh, a couple more things. Just go ahead and times that. 
uh, pre-drop that raid spell, nice lead in rage, uh, queen on queen action, uh, goes ahead and pops queen ability, wants to be sure that he takes out queen. Uh, but here comes the CC Hound, and if you guys check this out, only two spells. He only has two spells he's using for this flight portion. Hound and some more loons coming in over here at 3 o'clock. Uh, and again, being nice and patient, already dropping down minions to make sure, because that charge took so long, does not want to time fill, so gets those uh, cleanup minions down uh, in time. So here we go. Uh, haste spell down uh, right there. Did he actually end up dropping? He did not even drop a rage spell. Uh, for the flight portion, so he used all five rages for this queen, making sure that she is going to stay up, only bringing one haste spell um, for the flight, and just like that, you guys, uh, last defense to go down is going to be that archer tower, beautiful, beautiful attack uh, by mass, pretty much charged three-fourths of that base, you guys, uh, now we'll go ahead and check out the hit up on number four, that was it for the 10v10s. So we'll go ahead and check out the hit up on number four. Uh, we have Barnes going to be taking on Barnes. This is, is this Karma? I want to say this is Karma. Maybe not. Not 100% not sure. Like I said, I'm still getting used to who everybody is over here. But at any rate, uh, taking on Team Unique. And what made this even more miraculous is the fact that this was a fresh hit. Giants down. Uh, bringing two golems, uh, 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 basically doing a shatter kill squad uh, with a whole wad of giants. I think he had, what, uh, eight giants that he's also bringing. Uh, queen behind. We will go ahead and drop down that poison spell to get that enemy CC. Um, or actually had two, uh, yeah, went ahead and dropped down um, one skeleton spell and uh, a poison spell to help take care of that enemy CC. And... Uh, you had, had, had a nice split. Queen ends up taking out one of the Inferno Towers. Can easily reach uh, that Town Hall um, from over the wall right there. And Giants are still up tanking for that Queen. Dropping down just a few loons and a hay spell at 3 o'clock and over there at 9 o'clock to take out that Archer Tower. And drops down uh, just a few minions to help pick up um that percent queen finally down but look at the work that that kill squad did uh so right here we have a king bowler kill squad down here at six o'clock uh where there's baby dragons on each flank what goes ahead and drops down a heal spell uh for those bowlers as well uh, not sure if that was even part of the plan but still end up getting decent value uh from dropping down that uh heal spell down there and if you guys look at, uh, we're already at 60% and he still has a couple more baby dragons left to deploy. Still has minions up. Uh, this was one of the most unique 10v11 attacks that I have seen. And ironically, he took on uh, Team Unique. But a King Bowler kill squad with a giant, uh, uh, with a rage and a heal at the bottom. A shattered kill squad with Queen behind uh, with just some giants and... Uh, I mean, not even not even a jump spell, just a poison spell, and using the haste spells to get the loons in with the minions. Uh, that was about five different attacks in one right there. Huge shout out to him. Uh, last and final attack, you guys, is going to be the 11v11 three-star before we go ahead and call it. This is also going to be uh, from Mask right here. Uh, going to be doing a Sui Hero Lalo. And check out this attack right here, you guys. A unique, uh, a unique base also calling for a very unique attack. So queen down, uh, down right here. Uh, wait till you guys see what he ends up doing with his king. So she's not only going to be taking out a couple defenses, already got a Tesla. Now she goes ahead and gets the archer tower. Uh, king is now down. He's going to go ahead and drop down four wall breakers uh, to pop this wall right here. And also brings... CC Valkyries uh, with this king. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and take out this entire compartment down here, you guys. Uh, when he goes ahead and pops king ability, uh, gets enemy queen as she did go ahead and hop the wall and doesn't even uh, take out the damage CC uh, that, that came out. He's going to go ahead and leave that up to the pups, the minions, and one poison spell. So a damage CC, very, very ballsy. Gonna be drop pre dropping uh, four, five haste spells. I thought it was only three. Drop down five haste spells. Uh, Hound loons just gonna be dropping any, anywhere from three to four loons on each of these outer defenses, hasting them in. Uh, where he's gonna where he does have a rage and still three more haste spells. Doesn't even bring a heal spell uh, for the Lalo. 
but he does drop that poison spell to help take out that baby dragon uh, that's just um, stuck on the hound right there. Uh, so right here goes ahead and drops down another haste spell and has two more haste spells for the back end of this base. And notice, guys, he just barely popped that eternal tone ability. We see a lot of levens uh, that often will pop it kind of in the beginning, um, whether it's with the kill squad or with the back end troops. Uh, but Mask delaying that uh, that Eternal Tome ability for the very, very end where he was still going to be taking on quite a few defenses. Uh, so under the Eternal Tome ability, plus those two haste spells, uh, completely ended up smashing this base. All kinds of cleanup, all kinds of loons up. Uh, very, very nicely done. But that is pretty much going to do it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the attacks forbidden in their very first invite war. Um, walking away with the victory from one of the toughest clans, that being Red Omega. Again, the final 129 to 128. Huge shout out to everybody in Forbidden, and of course, huge shout out to everybody in Red Omega. Forbidden 1 and 0 on the season in CWL Invite. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Smack that like button if you did. Comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.